Hello, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, uh, welcome. Sing, me too. Uh, I've decided to create this channel um, because I really love skincare. I feel really passionate about it. And I feel like I've gotten to the point where I've acquired so much knowledge and I just need to like share it with the world. The thing that I want to start out first with is going through a series um, where I go through my skincare routine. It's pretty simple. I've simplified it a lot and I feel really strongly about it. So I'm going to make a video talking about my skincare routine um, and then I'll make videos reviewing all of the products more in depth instead of just seeing like, I like this product. Here's why. You can kind of hear more of my feedback and my reasoning for purchasing it and all of that sort of thing. And then I'll maybe make some videos about how to create your own skincare routine and stuff like that. And if you have any other ideas, please feel free to comment below. I would love to hear your feedback since this is my first YouTube channel and uh, this is my first vlog in general sort of thing. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I love the help. I love the feedback. Um, yeah, let's get back to this video. So this video, as you can tell, is my morning skincare routine. Um, I've done a lot of work, gone through a lot of products, and this is my first time that I've ever had a skincare routine where I really feel like I love all of the products that I'm using 100%, not just like making do with products. So I'm extremely excited to share it with you all today. And a lot of the products that I'm talking about are products that I don't really hear people mention and I don't feel like they're like the hyped up products. So I really wanted to share them because they are really good products and I have pretty finicky skin. So if they work for my skin, then I feel like they'll work for a lot of other people as well. I'm not gonna go through my whole skin history. I just think that would take too long. Um, I do have a blog post, I think my first blog post that really details more of my skin, skin history and sort of the struggles that I had. Maybe in the future I'll make a video that describes that as well, but just for now, know that my skin is acne prone and it's on the normal to dry side and it's pretty sensitive. That's where my skin's at, um, but my main concern when it comes to my skin is that I wanna keep my acne at bay and I really wanna keep my skin hydrated and looking healthy and I wanna encourage cellular re rejuvenation because my acne has been has stopped, but I have so many just like texture issues and scars and discoloration. I'm wearing makeup right now. Can you tell? Um, <laughs> but a little bit, I think some of it kind of bleeds through in the foundation because I don't really care that much about covering up all the way. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I try to deal with. That's what my makeup or my skincare is really trying to target. Um, I also wear makeup basically every day. Not that I need it, feel like I need it, but I just like it. I think it's fun. I like the way I look with makeup on. Um, and I just feel like it kind of goes with my style and my aesthetic. So I do wear makeup every day. So also all of these morning skincare products are really targeted uh, at like how they layer under makeup. With all that aside, let's get into the actual routine after this five minute introduction. So every morning I wake up and I cleanse my skin. Some people like to just spritz water on their skin. Um, I really like to clean it because I use a lot of products at night. I use a lot of hydrating products at night. And I just feel like if you're able to clean that off, um, then your makeup looks better, your products are more effective, and you sweat and you know do a lot of things at night too. You're not just like laying there waiting for the air to do its whatever air would do. I don't know where I was going with that thought. Um, anyways, I use the La Roche-Posay Tolerant Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Um, this is from, this is their normal to dry skin type. They also have one that's normal to oily skin. And I love this stuff. It's so good. This brand in general is really, really underrated. I know for sure that it's not cruelty free. Um, but it does, it's really, really effective. It's great for people with sensitive skin with a lot of skin allergies. And it does have ceramide in it and niacinamide in it, which are both two great ingredients if you have acne or acne prone skin at all, or you just want cellular rejuvenation. Really great product. It retails for about $15. Um, I know for sure you can get it at CVS and at Target. And I'm sure you can get it other places too. Those are just what I know. Um, yeah. Really good. After I clean my skin with this, my skin just looks clean, but also like a little bit of glow starts to happen, and I just mm, love that. Okay, so after I clean my skin, you're gonna notice a 
trend in the products that I use. Um, this is the Fresh, you can't really see it that well because um, it's clear, but it's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Um, this stuff is the best. They have another one that is just a rose toner. This is their deep hydration toner. I feel like a lot of people think that this is going to be like the Thayer's toner. It's not. Um, it's really, really just so hydrating. Um, so I take this and I put it on a cotton pad. These are just ones from Target. They're not anything too fancy. And I really saturate the cotton pad. You don't have to use a lot of product to make sure that's really saturated surprisingly so anyways um and then i press it into my skin and that pressing motion just really helps your helps it absorb into your skin rather than just sweeping it across my skin um i do that also because this is a little bit pricey this is a 44 dollar toner Ugh. and i don't like to spend a lot i don't i'm not a big spender i'm not like this luxury over here so it kind of hurts but it's I believe in it that much that I love this product so much that I would spend close to $50 on it more than I would spend on most foundations so pressing it into your skin makes it worth the money and just works so much better I love this stuff dick I'm addicted to it okay so after I tone I go in to treat my skin a little bit this is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Dark Spot Corrector um, this stuff is supposed to help your dark spots I don't know how effectively it does that but it does leave your skin looking really bright and glowy it has like a little bit of like sparkles in it like a little bit of a reflective tint to it um that you definitely notice when you first i don't know if you really notice it when you first put it on but if you put it on your hands you'll notice it um but it, those absorb into your skin and it just leaves you looking glowy and fresh and wonderful it has vitamin a in it and vitamin e in it so it is supposed to help with cellular rejuvenation these kind of products just have a limit to what they can do but i do think it has helped with some of my lighter spots so um it just feels really nice on my skin too and what i'll do is i'll add one to two drops of this is just the 365 organic rejuvenating rosehip oil this is just rosehip oil you can use whatever you prefer this is from whole foods it was like under 10 bucks i want to say um so i'll just add one to two drops of this and rosehip also can really really help with dark spot correction and make your skin just look again glowy fresh I used to use this on its own, didn't really like it. I much prefer it mixed into something, and this is a perfect medium for that. Two more steps, and then we're done. Um, this is, again, another underrated... Oh, what did I say? This is $12 to $15. It's a Garnier product. You can get it wherever drugstore products are sold. Um, uh, so this is also a Garnier Skin Active product. This is their Moisture Balm Sunscreen. It has broad spectrum SPF 30 in it and it's an antioxidant moisturizer. Um, this is again about $12 to $15. You can get it wherever, you know, Garnier is sold, so drugstores. I bought this on a whim, same thing with that other Garnier product, and I love it. It was the best whim decision I've ever made. It's so great. It is really watery in its texture, but it's really effective. It has hyaluronic acid in it, and it because it has antioxidants, it also helps to prevent pollution exposure and stuff like that. So it's just a really great product. It's super light too. It just is really watery and absorbs into your skin better than any any sunscreen I've ever tried. So highly recommend this product. I think it's really, really good. It's a drugstore product. You can get your sunscreen in without it feeling thick and it's still being effective. I went to Miami, my skin didn't burn. Last but not least is I go in with a eye balm this is the jack black eye balm age minimizing gel this is a perfect product because it is a gel so if you're looking for eye products to be more on the preventative side um, like me then this is a really great product it has age pre aging prevention properties in it like vitamin a and vitamin e and aloe so it just really soothes your skin brightens up that under eye area and makes it just look depuffed and really nice and pretty jack black is an underrated brand i think um I think a lot of women don't use Jack Black because it's like a man's brand, but that's not true. So I really like this product, really, really recommend it as well. I know I keep saying I really like this one, but it is really good. I would say this is about $20. I really recommend it. If you don't like the feeling of a thick, heavy eye cream, try this out. It's really 
good. So, so that concludes my everyday morning skincare routine. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found some good tips. I love these products. And so if you're interested or intrigued by any of these products, stay tuned because like I said, I will be doing full reviews of each of these products. And yeah, welcome to my channel. Bye.